Hey guys, uh, remember a few weeks back I said I was going to a festival? Well, this video is filmed about two days after that, so my voice isn't exactly great. Uh, anyways, I want to make this unboxing uh, quite fast because I'm going to Paris tomorrow and I want to show this puzzle. Uh, this is an unboxing I got from Casey Weaver, aka Twisty Tex, and it is the Bump 11 by 11 Alright, so here we go. Um, I'm actually going to try to open this with scissors because my X-Acto knife is already in my uh, luggage for Paris. Um, actually, I'm, I'm trying not to show you the package because... Um, Last time I did that, a friend of mine actually got a few internet stalkers uh, visiting his place, so so that was kind of weird. Um, and so I don't want it to happen to Casey, or to anyone really. The internet is a place full of weird people, be careful. Anyways, alright, here we are. So this is the package, let me see, I think there's something saying... Uh, don't open on that side. I'm not even sure. Okay, I don't know which side to open it on. I think that's the one. Yes, it is. And as always, this beautiful paper explaining what this puzzle is. So the Bump Sanity, or 11 by 11 by 11 Bump Cube. Uh, dimensions 123 millimeters. So that's pretty big. With a Shengshu 11 by 11 FDM printed extensions and... I'm pretty sure it's it's filled and you know it's as perfect as last time so I trust uh, I trust Casey paint none no paint hmm curious uh, stickers white custom cut by Olivier stickers Lou Martian and so this is an extensions only mod so just like last time the faces were extended by varying amounts like last time and some there's some lube in, in there and it's been slightly lubed. So I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure this is about as good as it was last time. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna pretend like I don't trust Casey 100%. I know he makes some some amazing puzzles. Wow, that thing is insane. It, the name is definitely suited for this puzzle. Let's see if I can get this out of here. It's it's a big package. It's it's packed perfectly just like last time. Sorry about the focus on the camera. Let me see if I can get that to focus again. Perfect. Wow. And I'm going to be bringing this to Paris, so if people want to see it, they are going to be thrilled. All right. Wow. Okay, now that is definitely one of the most insane mods that I've ever seen. The parts are absolutely perfect. It looks like he sanded down the parts one by one. And as I was expecting, the filling between the 3D printed extensions and the plastic, the rest of the plastic is absolutely flawless. It's perfect, just like last time. This is insane. Like the the job was so well made and it spins perfectly. I mean it spins almost better than the regular eleven by eleven, seriously. Wow. Okay, so since this is an 11 by 11 and not 10 or 12, we can do a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to show you what that looks like so you can actually see how much of a beast this puzzle really is. Wow. Uh, I know I'm not the first one to have this. Uh, junior, well, or JR Cuber, sorry. I, I never really asked to see if JR standed for junior, but... Uh, so anyways, JR Cuber, he... Um, he actually owned this before me. Well, not owned, but he he got it shipped to, to his place so he could solve it. And he did, and that was pretty cool. That was a nice video. And, uh, wow. So it's not the first time that I see this puzzle, but I'm still amazed by the quality of the, well, of the puzzle overall. Like, everything is perfect. So, the shape-shifting makes it kind of hard to align, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, not that it's a problem because, well, let's be honest, when you have a puzzle like this, you don't really care if it spins well or not. It's just amazing. So that's largely sufficient for what you want. Alright, let's see. Trying to get used to that. Um, so let's see, what is locking up? Alright, I got it. Just a little lock up. Not, nothing too critical. But I'm assuming it's, it's got to happen quite often with puzzles this complex. Um, wow, this is, this is a big puzzle. This is a very big puzzle. Let's see if I can show you 
the turning from the side like that. Wow. This thing is insane. This thing this is well, this thing is just crazy. That something this crazy should not exist, seriously. This is dangerous. Alright, let's see. Let's align this and Wow. Very big puzzle. Very, very big puzzle. Casey, um, I'd love it if you could comment uh, in the in the comment section. How long did it take you to make this? I, 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 I'm afraid I didn't read up on that, so I don't exactly know how long it took you. But I would like to know, because seriously, this is an amazing mod. And uh, I know the, the Twisted 11 by 11 that I made took a long time to complete. And this one is even harder to make, so I, I can't even imagine. Alright, so this is the checkerboard pattern. This is freaking amazing. Like, I've never seen something that cool uh, that was handmade, seriously. This is incredible. Wow. Let me see if I can compare it. And I'm probably the first person who can actually do this. I, I have a... Let me see if I can find it. I think I put it in my suitcase. I have to do this because I want to show you the difference between the 11 by 11 and the 4 by 4. Alright, so this is the 4x4 right next to the twist to the to the bump 11x11. So this is so small compared to this. This puzzle is insane. Seriously, it's insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously I'm in awe just by watching this right in front of me and I'm like, how how would one even solve this without going crazy? This is this is amazing. Let me see. I'm gonna bring it back to its cubic shape. Show you what it looks like slightly scrambled. I'm not going to scramble it fully uh, yet because I have a lot of things to do before the Paris Open and I'm pretty sure I will have to solve it afterwards because people will have scrambled it. And by the way, I think I am going to make a solving video, although uh, then again it does exist already. I don't know exactly what kind of uh, video I'll make, probably a pattern video or something. I don't know. I'll see in a f at a future time. Wow. This is incredible. Turning this is actually quite difficult because it's huge. I mean, some extensions are like this big, like this, this extension here. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. See, it's it's pretty huge. You can see the the shape it has. Um, and yeah, definitely a lot of work that was put into that. I know that. Well, the the reason why I got surprised that there was no paint involved was that I know that in this case. You, you can't really sand down this plastic without it looking so glossy. So either Casey did use a little bit of paint or something, or, um, well, Casey sanded down the parts uh, with some super fine sandpaper, and that would take hours upon hours to complete. So in any case, I'm amazed. Like, also, the white stickers are really cool. It's it's different uh, compared to the, the the mirror stickers, which are usually you know, well, they they're just classic. You know what I mean? The the white stickers, on the other hand, you don't see that often on a on a mirror puzzle, and I think it looks really cool. It's a bit like the 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 ghost cubes and stuff. Also, look at this. Seriously, how, look at how well that spins. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Definitely one of the most amazing. Well, no, it's it is the most amazing mod that I've ever played with and seen. It definitely is. So yeah, so this is it. I really wanted to show you guys this puzzle because it's insane, and I'm so glad that I got to have my hands on this. Even though the post office decided to to make me pay 70 bucks of import fees, which was insane. Um, so yeah, this is the mirror 11 by 11 the bump sanity that Casey made, go and check out his links in the description below, his social network, YouTube and everything. Everything is on his website, I've put the link. He's an amazing modder. Check him out. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the puzzle and as much as I am sure 2,000 people will enjoy the puzzle in a few days. 
Uh, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe, like my social networks, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything, and I'll see you in the next video.